and for the live demo um, I'm using the B1IF the version um, the version is 1.9.0 um, that's the latest version um, I have so um, if you are not using this version you you should um, upgrade to the latest version there okay so um, next I would like to show you how can we generate the um, XML schema for the sub request response and let's go to the scenario and um, control and this the um, package I have so let's have a look at the setup um, in the last scenario um, actually I set up a couple of things the first things is I activate uh, the get dog list um, for my web service package there I just choose this one and then uh, secondly I also uh, create a sender system to represent my web service system um, by copy the um, copying the web service for mobile and then um, with a new name there WS test there okay I'm just, just choosing this WS test as the sender system there and then receiver not receiver is the synchronous call okay so next we just need to activate it okay it's activated and the next thing uh, we are going to generate an um, XML schema just click the tools here and the tools will provide um, two options there the first is XML schema generation the second one is the WSDL generation first we are generate the XML schema first so just select XML schema and you will take a while Okay, and then the XML schema for SOAP uh, request response has been generated successfully. Uh, let's have a look at the schema generated by click the open button here. To have a look at the inbound XML schema first. Okay, so the XML schema has been generated. Um, if you remember our SOAP uh, inbound request, we will let it format like this. The root tag is get dog list, and then we have a sub. Um, table name um, element there so let's validate it um, as you can see it would have by default the b1f would have us to generate the namespace ns0 and it's uh, for dummy uh, must to have um, for dummy namespace um, as well so the element the root tag is get dog list is okay um, but something is not um, very well here it's the default ms um, we are going to it's not the right one namespace here, it should be the ns0 um, here. We are going to modify it by menu later one, just modify the name to replace the namespace here. And then uh, for the get dog list, you have a um, sub, uh, sub element table name, it's a stream. Okay, everything um, looks uh, pretty good except the default namespace here. We're going to modify the later one. All right, so let's have a look at the um, Let's have a look at the um, outbound schema as well. So the outbound schema, the same thing. Um, the default namespace that we we have to modify by ourselves to replace it with the NS0. I'm going to show you later one. So in the uh, response, remember the, the schema um, response, and then response um, get dog list result, and get dog list result. You have a um, a list of the row there, a list of a row there. Um, for each row, we have the dog entry, card go, dog total. Okay, that's the um, the right XML schema for sub request and response, except the namespace. All right. So, um, actually, the XML schema it is stored in the um, XML um, in the, in the basic store in the B1IF as well. We can find it. We can find it in the in the uh, with the XML spy. And just going to your VBIU folder. Uh, just refresh a little bit. And just refresh. And actually, the uh, inbound and outbound schema is in your VBIU and uh, get dog list folder there. Okay. You, if you open this one, you will find it uh, in schema and out schema. That's inbound and outbound schema. Let's have a look at. It. 
okay as you can see you would uh, pop up an error there default ms uh, must refer to the simple one that's because the, the namespace here okay never mind we are going to modify it um, here by menu all right so uh, what we're going to do is just to uh, replace the default ns with the namespace ns0 um, here so we just very very tiny modification here ns0 and then just validate it as you can see it's validated now okay just save it okay let's do the same thing for the outbound schema and for the outbound schema uh, the same thing we need to um, rename replace the default ns with the ns0 and then validate once again okay just perfect okay now we have the right inbound and outbound schema um, as you can see here so far I only modified a very do the very uh, tiny modification to replace the default NS um, with the namespace here defined it here this um, thing or what I've done uh, now the uh, the inbound and outbound schema uh, is the perfect one for me now and by the way if you think the inbound and outbound schema is not the one uh, is not the uh, right one for you uh, you can modify it by manual, but you need to uh, understand the XML schema a little bit um, um, to modify it. Okay, so now we have the XML schema. Uh, we can generate the uh, WSDL as well. So still going back to the um, tools, and then now choosing the WSDL generation and click select. Okay, we have the inbound and outbound. Just click generate WSDL. Oh, it's pretty fast. All right, the WSDL has been generated. Let's have a look at the WSDL. And in the WSDL, um, you will see it generate a couple of uh, um, element type there, the schema based on the XML inbound and outbound schema um, there uh, with the good loyal namespace here. Uh, type, the get dog list type, that is the get request message type there. And then get dog list response, and can get dog list response um, type here. Okay, and then you were using the you were having the a message request request message as a get dog list and then the response would be the get dog list response message there and then you were having the bounding um, um, here and the bounding you would have the operation operation name the operation the function name uh, the web service function name would be the get dog list uh, we are going to see in the in a uh, project there and then the web, web service name and then the port um, there as well and that's the b1ic my B1IF server uh, IP address, HTTP and HTTPS as well. Okay, so everything looks just perfect with the WSDO as well. And we need to uh, copy it out the WSDO uh, because we are going to use it uh, in our .NET project. So it's better to copy it out to put it into the uh, Notepad there. We need to uh, add the reference there. All right, just copy it out um, there. Um, actually, we also can uh, the WSDL also t um, store in the um, in the um, in the B1IF basic store as well. And we're going to find it. Uh, we can find it um, in the um, setup folder. Just browse, and then you will see. Well, I'm going to add uh, another folder. Um, it's the setup. Just now we are working in the design folder. That's our VBIU there, and then in the setup folder. We are going to open the setup folder, and then you will see in the setup folder we have a couple of package, and then the web service package here. Uh, you having my WSDL here. If you think the WSDL is not the perfect one for you, um, you still can modify it by menu the operation name, and by menu um, here as well. So. Now we having the um, XML schema and WSDO, and now everything the web service is ready. Uh, we can consume the web service um, with the Thunder project.